Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the Zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. This is the deck I'm using if anybody was interested. Also you guys, I'm not doing personal readings anymore, okay? So let's see what's going on for my lovely Aquarius. This spirit guys, love and light, and trust the master. My to the night. Please protect this deck from negative energies. Please have to receive kind precise messages. For my lovely Aquarius, so we're moving negative energy from this deck. So let's see what's going on. For my lovely Aquarius. So we have the Nine of Cups. So it says, "Wishes come true. Your dreams become reality." A magical time of life, good fortune, faith in the universe that all will be well. Period. Love to see it. To be connected to a Pisces. Yes. We have here the Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So it says, working too hard or too many hours, the need for balance in life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. Okay. Some of you guys could be working too much. You're taking on other people's um, priorities, responsibilities. Now I'm saying y'all could be like addicted to work. You know, you got bills to pay and you be working overtime. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all could have let like something build up and you could be paying it off. So you could be stressing yourself out because it's like you're not getting enough rest because it's like something here is on your mind. It's like you feel like you're not you can't get no rest until something is paid off. Something like that. Okay. So if somebody here is willing to like give you a hand and help you out in the situation, allow them to. So you can um avoid burnout. We have Queen of Swords here, Gemini Libra. So we have brilliant experience, humorous judgments to releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing that humor, humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, divorce, or unmarried individuals. Okay, so yeah, y'all yeah, could have just separated from somebody. You could be, you know, guarded towards them. I feel like right now you could be just guarded towards, you know, connected with somebody else right now because I feel like you could just be focused on yourself. your career, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that, but don't stay in that energy for too long because everybody needs love, okay, don't allow your pride to get in the way, making you think that you don't need nobody, okay, because I feel like this is what this past person projected onto you, it made you didn't want, don't want to be bothered with nobody, but don't stay in that energy, okay. Yeah, and if you just separated from somebody, it's understandable why you just want to be by yourself right now and enjoy your own time, okay? It's a difference between being lonely and being alone. Because I like being alone. That don't mean I'm lonely, you feel me? So what else? I feel like y'all could be laughing about situations that's going on in your life instead of like you going crazy and being upset and mad i feel like you're just laughing honestly that's me like i laugh at when crazy shit happens to me i'll be like wow like this is ridiculous but i laugh you know because it'd be like it ain't nothing new that i didn't already go through you feel me so i'll just be like you know just charge to the game move on you feel me ain't nothing to it but to do it we have the ten of cups prices energy again so it says a happy marriage Happily ever after, emotional contentment, a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successfully, people you can trust, period. Period. I feel like, I just also got, some of y'all could be working hard too because you either want to purchase like a home or um, a new car or something like that. Make sure you, I just try to make sure you're taking your vitamins, okay? We have the King of Cups, mm, okay? So, 
we have trustworthy, honorable, devoted, cautious, someone you can completely trust, a situation that is safe, a solid romantic relationship, hidden but well attention, emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. Some of you have to be going to see like a therapist, or you could be a therapist or a psychiatrist. I just heard somebody here has schizophrenia. I think that's how you say it. Somebody here that you could have dealt with in the past. And I feel like this person probably don't even know that they have that shit. Somebody here needs to go to like a hospital because somebody here is diagnosed with that shit. <laughs> somebody could have been saying that you was that schizophrenia. I feel like you got some type of mental sh strength here. Like, you beat the odds here. Like, you, I feel like your mind is playing tricks on you or something like that. And it's like you learn how to, like, balance it and and know. Like, when you're being manipulated or something like that, the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're very intelligent, you're very wise. And you know how to dif differentiate between like if your mind is trying to like play with you because i feel like our minds do play with us you feel me i ain't gonna lie like the thoughts that just be coming out of nowhere and shit like that i feel like you're, you're being logical here you're not allowing your emotions to get in the way okay so we have renewal this is the judgment scorpio energy so it says revealing the past with compassion i'm seeing a lot of water here pisces cancer scorpio so it, it says renewal revealing the past with compassion and forgiveness time to head in a new direction clarity on your life purpose in your heart you know what to do okay so let's use this deck do, 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 do. I don't know what that song just came to my head. It's called um Anne Marie Toxic Situation. I don't know if y'all y'all listen to her. But if you don't, take a listen to that song. I actually love that song. I was listening to that song on my way back from work. But something here could be I don't know extremely toxic yeah the world card and the nine of wands you completed a cycle with somebody here okay and somebody here is trying to figure out like when did you have the balls like somebody here could have thought that she was a weak ass bitch or something like that like they didn't think that you was going to leave them or something like this person i feel like they are very like arrogant cocky for no fucking reason okay somebody here needs to humble themselves so let's see Let's see, let's see, let's see. I feel like someone here could be going through karma. Judgment here. How they treated you, how they went about the situation with you. I feel like somebody here knew what the fuck they were doing to you. Somebody here was trying to portray to you that they didn't know. You feel me? What they was doing. Or the issues that they was causing in your life. The drama that they was bringing. But they did. They know. So, can I find nine of cups? We have the King of Cubs. Mm, period. Yeah, you with your person. <laughs> you chilling, y'all happy. Okay. Yeah, like I'm getting a power couple energy here. Like, y'all could be like posting pictures together looking good as fuck. Okay. Period. What else for the Nine of Cups? And somebody here is watching y'all. Yeah, see? It's the ex of y'all. It's a karma care that's watching y'all. <laughs> y'all could be receiving a lot of attention, too. And I feel like this King of Wands said this person, they love attention. You feel me? No matter if it's bad, they, they like the attention on them. They like the spotlight on them. It's giving princess. <laughs> Somebody here acts like a fucking princess 
and they're a male. Like, uh. I'm also getting here. I don't know what to say. I'm also getting here that somebody, um, is trying to be in competition here with the person that you're with. And I feel like to try to get your attention, but I feel like you don't want this person. You too busy, <laughs> you know, pay attention to your lover, the person that's treating you right. And I feel like this person that you're with, they don't give a fuck about what people think. Okay, this person, they're authentic. Okay. They don't try to be a, like everybody else. They're not a follower like this person is. I feel like this person with the King of Wands say they're a follower. They want to be a leader so bad. They want to be high ranked or hair huncho. They want to look like this to the public. Somebody here is upset. And I feel like they could be copying off this person that you're with. Mm, this is getting weird. Yeah, somebody here is trying. I feel like this person, they're trying to see how they can fuck up your happiness. Like, they're trying to conjure up something here. And I feel like they're trying to do something here in the public to get your attention. I don't know what it is. I don't know if they're going to try to get with another person here to make you mad or try to portray like they're happy and it's on a new connection and they're not they hit a guy with somebody here that's your doppelganger somebody here that's trying to be like be like you this person they could watch you too this person that they're with i feel like something here is not trustworthy it was just based off lies yeah i feel like this person is trying to be in competition with you and it's like you're not a competition with this bitch neither one of them like, this ain't no fucking, you're not putting on a facade. This person, they, they put on a facade to the public. You don't do that. Okay, clarify the Ten of Wands. Yeah, and I feel like they're saying that this person that you're with is an upgrade. Somebody here, they, they feel insecure. Eight of Pentacles, what else for the Ten of Wands? The Fool. Yeah, I feel like before you moved away from this person, you tried to work things out with them. But something here just became more detrimental. Is that the word? It just became super draining and exhausting. And nothing got better. You feel me? It got worse. Somebody here was uh, projecting their insecurities on you, their pain, their trauma. It's like you was, you know, some, something here was unrequited. Somebody here was just good at manipulating you to keeping you stuck, making you think like, you know, they want to work on something with you, but they never actually took the, the steps to do it. It was just, they were just talking. This person's all fucking talk. There are no action. Okay. And they thought that you were going to stick around and keep allowing them to manipulate you. And you, you, you didn't. You moved away from their ass. Now I'm seeing here, as soon as you move away from their ass, you took the leap of faith. You start the new beginning. Now you have somebody here coming towards you with an offer. Okay? And I feel like you have feelings for somebody new. Now somebody here, they are fucking pissed off. They're sad. They're angry. They want to fight because they can't believe that you left them. <laughs> like this person felt like they owned you or something like that. Like they're mad at you because... You're, you're, you're focused on somebody else. They know that it is. They don't feel you like your, your presence. Like they don't feel your energy anymore. They're wondering what you're doing, what you're up to. You feel me? Clarify the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're God of Swords, this person. Okay, you don't have nothing to say to them. Four of Wands lovers, yeah. You're with your motherfucking person, chilling, happy. Like, how many times? Yeah, I'm not. How many times I'm about to say happy? Look, Four of Wands, the lovers, and the Ten of Cups. Y'all don't pay attention to my nails. I'm getting these motherfuckers taken off today. Okay, I went on the nail shop to open up, but um, yeah. You're experiencing joy. You're celebrating. Some of you guys are about to get married, proposed to, go on your honeymoon. You could be on vacation right now. Okay, like I just don't know any other way to describe it. Then you're just, 
you know, <laughs> you're happy, period. I feel like you have broken a generational um, curse here. I feel like you're working on yourself. I feel like with the Queen of Swords here, it's like you connected the dots. You understood why shit was happening the way it was happening. Now you're in union. Somebody here thought that they were going to block you from me being with this person or something like that. They just knew that somebody had just knew that they had you in the bag. They knew that you weren't going nowhere. And they kept using, trying to use you to manifest. Now I feel like that this person, they still don't have shit. They don't have nothing. I feel like this person are opportunist. And I feel like you don't want as a go-getter. You, 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 you get to it, okay? And I feel like this person, they want to stay around you because they know that you got this, you got that. Okay, you probably had a car or home or something like that that they can use. Clarify the Ten of Cups. It's like this person was buying a hand that was feeding them. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Strength. Yeah. You overcame an obstacle here. Somebody here thought that they had strength over you. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Somebody here thought they were going to keep you confused and an illusion. This person, they, they, after the Ten of Cups, they, this person, they treated you like an option. Okay? Like somebody here is trying to, I really get like somebody here is trying to act slow. Like they don't know why you left them. Like it's very fucking clear why you left this person. And I'm also getting here with the lovers upright that this person, they could have had somebody else here. I'm getting, for some of y'all, this person could have had a, a whole family elsewhere. They were living a double life here. And you could have found that shit out. That they was married or something or they was living with somebody here a baby mother a baby father they could have just recently got somebody pregnant here all type of shit this person had a lot going on somebody here thought that they was more like smart or intelligent than you that you was dumb that you weren't gonna find out certain shit this person just thought that they were just sneaky like they 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 had it under the bag. Like they knew what the fuck they was doing. They had, they they thought they was doing strategically here. They were trying to be tricky here. Mm-hmm. Now I see you with somebody here that's a provider. Okay. And they're never gonna find love. This person they're gonna be lonely. Cause they feel like I guess being a player or whatever lifestyle that they're living. They, they feel like it's going to, I don't know. They're going to come out supreme or they're going to come out oh, victorious or something like that. But that's not the case. The person they're going to just end up bitter and miserable. They're going to catch something here for fucking around with all these people. This person has a sex addiction. And that's like these people that want this person they only want this person for their money i feel like this person they're materialistic as fuck okay they hide behind material things it's like this person the relationship that they get in they don't have any depth it's not sincere it's not genuine but if i had the king of cups now with you, you're with somebody that's faithful that's loyal that's dedicated to you okay and I feel like this person, King of Pentacles here, they're going to want to, like, provide for you. Like, they're going to want you to, like, just take care of the home or something like that. Clarify King of Cups. I feel like do whatever works for y'all. Y'all dynamic. Okay? Some people, they don't want to be a housewife. Not the swords in reverse. Clarify King of Cups. They want to work, too. Just as not for like this person, they're not going to be the type of person that's controlling or saying i want you to play this role and if you don't play it i'm not going to be with you type shit they're not like that okay i feel like if this person is like that they're not your person okay i feel like this person that she was your ex they was like that they wanted you to play a role or some shit like that and i feel like hell no hell the fuck no okay, that's like um king of cups I just heard they want you to play a role while they play many roles. <laughs> That's funny. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Justice, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. 
Yeah, somebody here was shape shifting here. They were trying to act like they was your lover. Like y'all were soulmates. Y'all was one supposed to be y'all was supposed to be together. Now I feel like this person they're blocked from you. They don't know where your whereabouts is. Some of y'all could have changed your number. And I feel like you're getting justice in the situation. You're just with this person that you're supposed to be with coming in, treating you the right way, and you starting a family. You're getting pregnant. All type of shit. Cause I feel like you didn't get pregnant with this person. I feel like this person they that high their hygiene was bad. Like, you know, anytime this person tried to Well, when y'all did have sex, I'm getting here. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Swords. It's like this person, they will, they gave, they gave you something here and they tried to act stupid once you confronted them about it. Or some shit like that. I, I'm getting with this Ace of Cups here. Like, it was like discharge. Like, some shit coming out. And you were just looking at the shit in your hand. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't know. Something here looking weird. Coming from your private bar area. Or smell weird or some shit like that. Yeah, that's because this person that was fucking off. Cause I've had the renewal. Yeah, page of swords. Now somebody here that are watching you. Yeah, receive this this cup of love, nine of cups. You you're getting charmed. You're getting pampered. Treat it the right way. Yeah, five of swords. <laughs> Look at this. They're watching you receive all this love and affection, okay? From your person. <laughs> yeah, they thought that they was gonna win at all cost here, but now they look fucking stupid. I feel like nobody wanna be bothered with this motherfucker because they all all they do is lie and be deceptive and sneaky and conniving and trying to get their way. It's their way of the motherfucking highway. And somebody here is saying that's not the fucking case. Yeah, you with your motherfucking emperor. You have transformed, and this person there is still bitter and miserable. <laughs> somebody here, like, wow, like, I want that. Yeah, bitch, you're not gonna receive it because you're a bad, negative ass person. Nobody wanna be with you. Somebody here needs to change their ways, or they're gonna just be lonely. Somebody here wants to have their cake and eat it too. And like, ugh. I feel like this person, they will act a certain way around you. And to these other bitches, they will act another way. Like, this person they just had too much going on. That I feel like he wasn't fucking with, period. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.